But today we'll just start right on out. Just leave, using a little bit of this yellow right here. And we're gonna start right here, okay? And I'm just gonna put in some yellow. Very, very lightly. Very, very lightly. Probably just, just about that, okay? I will have a list of my colors uh, running down below as well as uh, in the description. And I am using 1980 Gamblin for my colors and Brandon Thomas for my brush line. And I do have that white medium on here. And of course, this is an oil painting. I am using oil-based paints. And there we go, something like, something like so. I'm just trying to lighten this out. So, just trying to lighten it out a little bit. Let's go ahead and just maybe tap into a little bit of this white and just make this even a little bit lighter. Just a little bit lighter. There we go. There we go. Got a nice little hair there. there I'm gonna go right into right into my Morris Morris Black. Just pulling some down and tapping, okay? We don't want too too much for right here. I'm just gonna take it and just, just straight down. Just like that. There we go. And I'm gonna just lift it up a little bit from the white here and lift up just to kind of mellow out just a little bit, just a little bit. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and tap into a little bit more. And I think I'll start right here. Maybe something like so. Very, very lightly. And I'm gonna take this dirty brush here and I'm just gonna just put some stuff in the background a little bit right here. There we go. And let's go ahead, tap in a little bit more of our, of our black here. I'm using Mars Black. And uh, maybe something like so. Maybe something like so. Maybe something like that. There we go. And some more. Got a little too much there. A little too much. But I'll go ahead and start right here. And I'll just bring it on over. And maybe another one right here, straight down. And I'm just putting all these different little ledges in. That's pretty much it, just different, different little ledges. There we go. I'll take a little bit over here as well. So I'm going to put this down for just a sec. I'm going to grab another, another two inch brush. I'm going to go into my white. And right here as well. Just going to make it nice and light. And I think I'm just going to come See, I messed up because I touched the gray and I went back, so now I got a nice little dark spot, but it's okay. I'll just go ahead and get that blended out. Let's get that hair that's in there. There we go. There 
and I'll go back in here and ah, wipe that off, go back into my white. And I'm gonna get a little bit dark over here, so I'm gonna go right back into, into my Mars Black. And I think right here. There we go. Got a little neck there. There we go. And then let's go ahead and just mix some color here. Uh, we'll mix a little bit of our blue and our black. We'll do a touch of that green and just a little touch of that napple fall red there and we'll just get ourselves a nice little dark color go ahead and get that nice nice and cleaned up and just tap in and I'm just going to start right here and just start to put this in There we go. There you go. Here. Okie dokie. Hope you're doing great on your side. I'm doing awesome over here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, support the channel, It'd be awesome. And uh, as you can tell, we got a nice little, little thing going right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a number three fan brush and I'm gonna go into, into my white. I might have to thin this white down. Uh, we'll see. But I'm gonna go ahead and start to put in some. Uh, some waterfalls basically. We'll have something coming in. And I think I'll go ahead and, and thin this out. So I'm just going to get a little little bit of my white medium. And I'm going to go right into here. And let's go ahead. Okay, you want to come and just crash it down, okay? And then you can come back. Just make sure you're one side at a time. And then there you go, okay? And then come back and reload. And then we'll go ahead and do, we'll do this side. And maybe just a little bit more right here. And just like that. So it's real easy. You just go across and down, okay? But you wanna make sure your line, lines are straight here, okay? And you, you want to try not to keep going over the same spot or it'll, it will fizzle out on you. And then I think we'll go right here and maybe, maybe we'll have it come down. Like so. There we go. Just different things going on. There we go. Gives you all this different, different movement. Different movement. Maybe we'll have it come over, crash over like so, okay? 
And then you put this down. I'm gonna grab, I'll just grab my uh, two inch brush. I'm gonna tap into some white. And right down here. And maybe, I don't know. Just to make it kind of misty and There we go. Just lift it up softly, softly. And there you go. All right, we got a lovely scene working right now. I hope you're feeling really awesome, feeling good about yourself. That's what it's all about, you know, just feeling good. This world, I always say, this world will beat you up. So you got to take a moment. You got to have a little bit of time for just you and just feel good. So this is my feel good, you know, kind of thing. This is my heart, heart warmer, or, you know, things like that. It make me feel good, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and use, I'm going to use the, uh, flat brush actually and I think I'm just going to keep adding to this pile right here for right now um, or I'll just go with it we'll just go with it so I'm just going to load it up and if I need to add more we can okay so I'm just going to go with this filbert brush for right now and let's go let's go ahead and make a I guess a small little bridge maybe something like something like this Go ahead and load up, add a little bit more black into there. All right. And then let's figure, we'll just do something like so and something like maybe like that. And I'm sorry, this, this brush is a little, little old, and it's a little, little thick, so you got to kind of chisel it out or it just won't do its thing. See, there you go. And then I'll just go ahead and, and fill this in. And I do want it dark, so I'm going to go into some blue and some of my black. I'll go ahead and get this, get this filled in. And some more, some more of the black. There we go. At this point, I'm just trying to figure out where placement of everything. There we go. I think that's pretty decent. Let's go ahead and put that down. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my little, little uh, knife here. I'm gonna add some white. I'll just put it right here since we're working with the darks over here. Add a touch of that Mars black to it. There we go, and a touch of that blue. And let's go ahead and put in, I'll use the smaller knife, and just put in some, some stones. Okay, and not much, just using the small side of the knife and you just come in and you put your stones in, okay? There we go. Same thing, just tap and tap, like touch, pull down. Just pull down very very small, that's it. It's 
something like so. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of a little brown into there. There we go. Add a little bit more of that brown. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my fan brush number three. And because it's so far back in the distance, I want to, I want to blend it very, very softly or it's just going to smear. Very, very, very softly. Just blend it right on it. It's probably easier for me just to go this route. And there we go. There we go. And so it's nice and blended right on in there. And I'm going to go ahead, use the same stuff, pull it out. And I just want to put a little bit a little bit of a rail. There we go. Clean that knife, put that down. Let's go ahead and let me put this down for one second. I'm gonna grab my, I'll just use a detail. I'm just gonna use a number one detail brush. I'm gonna go into, let's go into my uh, dark brown with a touch of that. Well, this is my burnt umber. You can use whatever browns you got. I'm gonna use some of my burnt umber and a touch of my Napathol red. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to put in put in a little, little carriage or something. And I'll go ahead and darken it up with a little bit a little bit of my black. This is always hard for me because my hands are shaky. Yeah, same thing right here. A little bit of that touch of that black in there. The black in there. Need to learn how to pronounce my words a little bit better. Uh, there we go. And we'll go ahead and Maybe, here we go. And then right here. Same thing, Use a little bit of this color here. There we go. Get a little bit, a little bit of a dark color here. That's a little, a little rough here. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of my white. There we go. And I'm going to a little bit of my dark here. Should be my black. There we go. And then maybe a little bit, a little bit over here as well. And I apologize. As I said, this is very difficult because my hands shake. So it's hard for me to get the straight little lines that I'm looking for. But there we go. There we go. Nice little little carriage and a little horsey. Don't need a lot of detail. That's why I wanted to blend out the 
the bridge because you just don't need a lot of detail with it, okay? And uh, let's go ahead and make some trees, I guess. Uh, let's mix up a nice color here. We'll use the same nice dark color, so we'll add that, touch of that blue and that black. Then we'll go with that green. There we go. And with two inch brush, I'm just going to go ahead and do the dog paw. So just straight down with it. We'll, we'll open those bristles up. I don't know if you can see it, but there you go. Okay. Then you're just going to come in and just start to put in a little, a little bush right there. Okay. And we'll go ahead and A nice little bush bush or two over here as well there we go and I'm just pushing pushing right in there and same thing here and same thing that down I'm just gonna grab a like a liner brush go into my uh, paint thinner here and uh, I think I'll just try this dark color and see if it comes out we'll try to put some branches in here I don't know if you can see it on your end try to put some lighter ones so they're there as well there you go just twisty Same thing over on this side. Oops, excuse me for hitting the uh, hitting the camera there. But same thing, just over here as well. Maybe a couple. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that. I'm gonna go use the same mixture that we've had. I'll just put a couple of lighter ones. There we go. There we go. And same thing over here. There we go. Then I'll put that, put that down, clean that. I'm gonna go ahead and just use a, uh, I'm just gonna use a filbert brush for right now. Tap into a little bit of this, uh, tap in a little bit of the green. Just tap, 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 tap. And there we go. I'll give you a little extra something there. A little extra something there. And just tapping. And then maybe I'll add a little bit of dark. Just a little bit of dark so it sticks out a little bit. There we go. There you go. So it just gives you some background stuff. Maybe some more back here, a little bit more of this green. And just there 
there you go just gives you some nice little colors and stuff in the background there maybe a little bit of that dark as well spots over here there we go maybe something like that okay and I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just use my uh, one inch brush and I'm gonna dip into uh, just a little little bit of this white medium I'm gonna go into the green and go into into my yellow. Kind of went a little bit dark for right now, and we'll, we'll kind of build it up from there, okay? But something like so. Hopefully, that came out. Let's go ahead. Maybe get a little bit more of that yellow. There you go. Something like so, okay? And we'll tap in just a just another drip, I mean a drip of your medium. You want to thin it out little, little at a time. Do not overdo it. You see the texture? I don't know if you can see the texture, okay? But you want texture like that, okay? And then just come in and I'm just touching. That's it. Boom, boom, boom. And same thing over here. Okay, and you get all that lovely, lovely stuff, okay? Now let's do a little bit. Let me add just a, another drip, another drip, because it's thickening up. A little bit more of that green. There we go. There we go, something like so. Maybe we'll have it, stuff like that, okay? And up here, same thing. And that's it. Kinda wanna figure out where you'd like to put your bushes and then put them, but make sure you leave the dark. If you don't leave that dark, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have the separation, okay? You need that separation. You need that separation, okay? And then I think that should be good for now. I'm gonna go ahead and use, I think I'll just go, go ahead and use the one inch brush here. I wanna tap into some white. I think I wanna just kind of mist this out just slightly. it out slightly there we go same thing over here all right let me put that down I'm gonna grab my one inch brush or excuse me, my fan brush, my number three, I'm going into a little bit of my white medium, into my white. Make sure you get paint on here, okay? And actually, let's go ahead, I apologize. I think we need something right there. So I'm gonna grab, let me just take this, because it's got paint thinner and stuff in it. So I'm gonna use some, some of my black, and my brown, maybe a touch of that right into there. And let's go ahead and just put a piece of piece of land right here or something. Yeah, 
sink in here. Do something like so. Yeah, maybe there's a use the small side of the knife. Maybe there's a nice big old rock right there. And I'm going to take some white, keep hitting that, keep hitting my camera, a little bit of that sienna, touch of that umber, still, let me get a little bit of that black in there, there we go, all these multitudes of colors, okay, and I'm going to come in, now let's go with the small side first. Let's go ahead and get this side. And I think we'll just come in like so. And then maybe and just have fun. Just have some fun. Whatever. We'll just have it like that, a nice little ledge. Okay, let's go into that white and a little bit of that white medium. And let's have it. Let's come in like so and then Probably should the waterfall first, so I apologize. If you're doing this, if you're following, put the waterfall in first and then do this. Otherwise you get little, little issues like so, okay? And come in, drop in like that. Uh, maybe we'll come in just have it just splashing all over, whatever. Like so. Need a little bit more of that medium, it's quite dry. Yeah, maybe we'll have it like that and then whatever. Just crash it, have fun. Water moves however it wants, we'll just, like so. I'm trying to think what to do here. Let's go ahead and just mist this out. I'm going to use this uh, hake brush I got. And we'll just come in here. I need to put something right there, just a little bit of land. Just now, maybe we can leave it like that. We'll just go ahead and come in and just There we go. Nice little movement. Nice little movement. Let's
There you go. Not bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. We add a little bit of dark right in here. Get a little bit more. There we go. Just trying to get some depth with this so you can add a little bit of a uh, a little bit of your dark in there and it'll give you some depth, okay? And maybe it just a little bit over here as well. It's a little too much. Go ahead. Okay. And uh, yeah, with that, I think that's pretty much a, paint, a finished painting. Let's go ahead and sign this guy. I grab a liner brush, which I haven't really used too much of today, but go into my white here. I'm just using some paint thinner. And I'll just go ahead and sign this guy right here. And just remember, keep that, keep that paint nice and thin. Actually, we'll go ahead before I finish up and just uh, put some green stuff over here. Let me go ahead and put that away for one second. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that liner brush. Let me back this camera up just a little bit. There we go. So you can see what's going on over here. And uh, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into actually a little bit of this yellow ochre. I've yet to use it today. So I always load up, I never use, never, sure exactly what colors I'm going to be using. Okay, but let's go ahead and at least get some of this color into here, okay? And do something like so. And maybe over here as well. Just so you get some of that, some of that color in there. There we go. Maybe There we go. Not too, not too much, but just something there. Just something there. Now let's go ahead and get this guy going. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into my yellow. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that medium. Okay. And let me go ahead and just start to, I don't know, put something in here. Something like so. Maybe a little bit more of that green. Definitely a little bit more of that medium. There we go. A little bit more of that green. And you can do something like, something like so. And maybe Just something there, because this was too, too much. There we go. And let me lighten this up. And I'll just put something like so. There we go. Let me put this away. Let me grab the liner brush real quick. Go into, I'll just go into the same, same mixture we used earlier with the lighter stuff. Grab a little bit more of that paint thinner. There we go. All right, let me clean that real quick and go into my black and then we'll, we'll definitely call it a day. All right, into the black. There we go. Let 
just a chunk of there we go. There we go. Sorry. Sorry, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought, but got to get this in there. There we go. Alrighty, with that, we went ahead and completed a beautiful painting. I hope you enjoyed today's painting and project. Until next time, I want to wish you the best. Please take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye-bye.